The drama of the book of Revelation sets out the four principal enemies of Christ, which we could call the evil quad. These are hell-bent on destroying humanity, but they have a particular hatred of Christ's people. There is no act so low that the evil quad will not stoop to get in humanity to worship the creature in place of their creator, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The tragedy of the plight of humanity is that had God not intervened in providing salvation, not one child of Adam would be able to resist the evil quad to be saved. But the wise know their enemies and shall be victorious in Jesus Christ. Dragon, enemy one. Chief in the evil quad of Christ's enemies is described in Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Said to be led captive by Christ at his ascension, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8, he is also said to be going about as a roaring lion, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8, whilst in Revelation 20 he is said to be bound for a thousand years, which I understand to be a symbolic period of time. As principal enemy of Christ, Satan is different from the other three. This is because, as a distinct creature in God's divine drama, he has been the arch antagonist since his fall from holiness and the creation of man. He shall be the last to be judged, along with Antichrist, to be cast into the lake of fire. Beast 1, Enemy 2 The second enemy on the stage of God's divine drama is the beast from the sea, Revelation chapter 13 verses 1 to 10. It is primarily he that Satan works through to be worshipped by rebellious mankind. It symbolises the institution of government that includes eight specific superior national powers that since the days of Father Abraham rule the world in defiance of God and Christ. Head 1. Egypt Head 2. Assyria Head 3. Babylon Head 4. Medo-Persia Head 5, Greece. Head 6, Rome. Head 7, Great Britain. Head 8, America. The Ten Crowns symbolise the United Nations. It shall be judged by Christ along with Beast 2 from the earth, as national governments shall be forced to cede power to Antichrist. Beast 2, Enemy 3. Christ's enemy number three is also described in Revelation chapter 13 verses 11 to 18 as the beast from the earth. In chapter 16 verse 13 he is also called the false prophet. I call him the loyal lackey because he serves the interest of beast one from the sea and is the architect of the mark, number and worship of beast one from the sea. This beast has justified in the name of God the imperial tyranny of Beast Head 7 Great Britain, seen particularly in the justification of the transatlantic African slave trade, with the monarch being the head of the church. In Beast Head 8 America, it could be seen in the house of chaplaincy. It shall be judged by Christ, along with Beast 1 from the sea, as state religions shall be forced to cede power to Antichrist. Harlot, Enemy 4 this enemy completes the evil quad. She is introduced to us in Revelation 17, though she has in fact been involved in the drama from the beginning in riding Beast One from the sea. Symbolizing corrupt religion and called Babylon, Revelation 14, in these last days all indicators suggest she is the Roman Catholic Church, possibly including other false religions. Her characteristic of a corrupt woman clearly epitomises what she represents as seen in her wealth and grandiose opulence. She shall be the first of Christ's enemies to be judged, in which during the French Revolution under Napoleon Bonaparte she received the divine warning that her days were numbered. And as things are moving, that judgment is soon to be realised under the auspices of the Ten Kings, that is the United Nations, 
been spearheaded by Antichrist on his path to power. Antichrist. I include the son of perdition here as an appendix because he is not an institution but a mere man. The man of sin shall be possessed by Satan at birth. That wicked shall have a short-lived period of power lasting seven years. In the final 1,260 days, the prince of darkness shall have his tyrannical reign of terror. With the mere breath of Christ, he shall be judged with Satan, being cast into the lake of fire.